Hey guys, JC here with another episode of Fahrenheit. In the last episode, uh, Tyler um, took a little longer that uh, he should have to go to the police station where uh, his partner, uh, Carla, is waiting for him. So now we're going to get chewed up by her. The waitress hasn't come in yet? She won't be long. Garrett got the lab results. Shall we go? All right, let me hang up my coat. I'll be right with you. Okay. See you in a minute. Oh. I thought she'd be angrier. Okay, let's hang the coat. And now we're going to get the results from the lab. And this guy here, uh, Tyler owes him a uh, hundred bucks. So if you check the last episode, uh, he made a bet um, for a game. I don't know which one. And if Tyler wins the bet, he doesn't have to pay anything. But if the other guy wins, uh, he has to pay 200 bucks. So, let's see. Uh, no, it's not giving me the option. Hi, Tyler. Hey, man. Okay, so, let's go hey, check. Hey, Tyler, what's new? Uh, nothing much. Let's go see the results from the lab. So, what do you want to start with? Uh, the knife. What did you find on the knife? Got some good prints off it. They matched those found on the fork and glass at the suspect's table. So, the murderer was definitely at that table. Anything on the blade? I'm getting to that. We definitely had blood from the victim, but the weird thing is we also found blood from the killer. What about the pool of blood in the stall? You're not going to believe this. The blood wasn't from the victim, it was from the killer. What was he doing bleeding in the stall? I have absolutely no idea. Frank found a book on one of the tables in the diner. It was Shakespeare. Uh, the Tempest, I think. Did you check for prints? Yep. And they matched the ones on the fork and the glass. So it was definitely his book. It looked like a fairly old book. Maybe we can get some more stuff out of it. So, what do you think about all that? I don't have any explanation for the blood in the stall. The victim could have wounded the killer during a struggle, but it doesn't make sense that it would be in the stall. It's as though the killer wounded himself. Hey, why not? You get clumsy fools in every other profession. Why not killers? That's kind of a flimsy explanation, Garrett. Uh, to each his own, Carla. I do the testing, you figure out the reason why. Thanks for your help, Garrett. See you later. So, what do we do now? You go take care of the composite. I'm gonna go check with the coroner and see if he got anything from the body. Okay. Catch you later. Okay, so we're back to Lucas. When Marcus and I were kids, we were inseparable. He's the one who took care of me after our parents died. We kind of grew apart after he became a priest. But he's still the only person I really trust. The only one who might believe that I had nothing to do with all this mess. So Marcus is his brother. Marcus? Marcus. Okay. I'm happy to see you. I missed you. It's been a while. Two years. So tell me what's happened, Lucas. I've killed a man, Marcus. It happened at a restaurant last night. It's like I was possessed in a sort of trance, like I was a puppet on a string. I saw what I was doing, but I was powerless to stop it. I can't believe this, Lucas. Tell me that it wasn't you. You're not capable of something like that. Mm -hmm. The wrists. And there's this, too. You cut your wrists? Yep. Before the murder, I, I carved these symbols on my arms with a knife. I don't know if they mean anything. 
So, details. This murder? I exactly how did it happen? Well, after work last night, I stopped at a little diner to get something to eat. I read a book at my table, I think. And after, it's just a black hole. I don't remember anything. Right up until I found myself in the toilets with a knife in my hand. It, it, was, it was horrible. Yeah, horrible. It's a trance. You say that you were in a sort of a trance. But what do you mean by that? Are you talking about magic? Or sorcery? Or something like that? Marcus, I don't have an explanation. I'm just telling you what happened, that's all. I'm only certain about one thing. I'm not the one who really killed that man. Hmm. Witnesses? Were there any witnesses? Did anyone see you? Probably. I got out of the restaurant as best I could. The police still haven't identified me, apparently, but it probably won't take them too long to track me down. So, visions? While I was doing this horrible thing, I saw something, or, or rather someone. Was somebody else there with you? No, it was, it was like a sort of vision. I saw a man in the middle of hundreds of candles, and, and there was this little girl. Little girl? You saw a little girl? She seemed alone, lost. She, she asked me to help her. What happened to me, Marcus? What am I supposed to do now? You know me better than anyone, Marcus. Help me. Listen, Lucas, I... I'm a bit lost here. This whole story is just so bizarre. Okay, the police? It might be better. Maybe you should go and tell your story to the police, Lucas. Turn yourself in before they find you. Do you really think the police are going to believe a story like that? They'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life and I'll never find out what really happened. I am a priest, Lucas. The fact that you have taken a life is a very serious matter. I told you that it wasn't me, Marcus. All these years and nothing's changed. You still never listen to me. Lucas, don't ask me to make a choice between my faith and my brother. Okay, so convince. I'm not a murderer, Marcus. You're the only person I can trust. I'm just asking you to believe me. Very well. I'll do whatever I can for you, but I can't do anything that goes against my beliefs. Look, I, I need to get some answers. I'll, I'll call you. Mm. Here. You need this more than I do. Marcus, you know that I don't believe in all that. Just take it. Just in case. Thanks. with the bird. What is going on? Oh crap. That kid. He's gonna slip on the ice. I've gotta stop him. The cop in the restaurant. If I don't do something, the child will die. If I do do something, the cop will recognize me. What am I gonna do? Okay, the kid. Where's the kid? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Faster, 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 faster. There he is. He's lost consciousness. I got it. Quick. I've got to go back up before I run out of air. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Fast, 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 fast. Up, 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 up. There you go. Come on, come on. Okay. And now... Get up. Run, run, run. Oh, I can check on the boy. Gonna check on him. And... Um, no? He's hard. No longer beating. Quick. Maybe it's not too late. Okay. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, three. two, three.
three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Come on. One. Come on, two, kid. Three. Come on, kid. You can do it. Good. Patrol three two four. Kid just fell into the water. Send an ambulance right away. Man, what courage! The kid would have died. That guy's a hero. He dove into freezing water to save the kid. The kid never would have made it out of there without him. The cop recognized me. We both knew it. It's hard to say why he didn't turn me in. Maybe he decided I was even. I had taken a life and given one back. Nothing really changed for me. I was still wanted for murder by the police. But when I left that park, I knew I could look myself in the mirror again without cringing. Nice. Okay, so maybe we should go back to Carla. Mortuary. This is a dead guy. This is creepy. Okay, we're going to get started. Uh, if you prefer, you can wait outside. I'd rather stay here if you don't mind. I've studied some medicine. I've seen dead bodies. Oh. As you wish. No apparent hematoma on the body. I'll Two broken fingernails on the right hand. Oh, failed, damn it. Large hematoma on the back of the cranium. Get ready, okay. Uh, mm, fracture of the occipital bone. I can't fail. Abnormal dilation in okay, get ready. Um, both pupils. <laughs> Got one. His pupils dilated. What did he see before he died? Okay. Three knife wounds between the third and fifth ribs in the proximity of the heart. Uh, the blade was driven in deeply. Uh, the stab Get seemed ready. to have been delivered from the front and moved from left to right. Good. The murderer was left hand. One stab neatly cut the aorta, and the other two cut the left and right coronary arteries. Oh, he really didn't have a chance. The blade slipped right through the ribs to cut the arteries. Okay, so... Do you think the killer had some knowledge of anatomy? Yeah, it's not impossible, but I doubt that someone who understood human anatomy would do this. You'd really have to be deranged to want to provoke a slow and agonizing death in this manner. Hmm. So, the cause? It was definitely the knife wounds that caused his death? Yes. Yeah, the three arteries leading to the heart were cut. Uh, the heart was literally uh, disconnected from the rest of the body. I uh, saw a case like this once before. It was a while back now, in the 90s, I think. Exactly the same. Three stabs around the heart, each one cutting a main artery. It really struck me at the time. I wondered how such a thing were possible. It was the, um, what was that name again? Karsten or Kirsten, something like that. Kirsten. Kirsten. Yes, that's it, Kirsten. You know about that case? Not yet. I'm sure as hell gonna find out. I need to be better prepared to this uh, time sequences. Because apparently you get important information if you do them right. But <laughs> they're a bit hard. Okay, let's go to Tyler. Come in. H hello, detective. Hello, Mrs. Morrison. Uh, thanks for taking the trouble to come down. Please, take a seat. I need to take her now, statement. Now, we're going to try and assemble a composite photo of the suspect you saw. Oh, okay. We have a computer program to help us. You'll see, it's really simple. It's kind of like a video game. Have you ever played a video game, Mrs. Morrison? No. Ah, it doesn't matter. You're going to do fine. 
The most important thing is to try to remember exactly what happened. The program consists of several types of facial features. You scroll through them until it looks like the man you saw. You understand? Yes. Well, I think I do. Okay. Let's go. Okay. So her... Use the character control keys to change a character component. Press enter to validate. Press back page to choose a random face. Okay, so first... I think this one. And... That one. that one. I think this is a good semblance. Maybe that one. Um. I think that one. Now, is this the face of the person you saw? Yeah, I think. Yes. At least, th that's how I remember him. Thank you very much for your help. We're gonna get Fairly this picture similar. out to all the airports, trains, and bus stations, and to all of our patrolmen. If this guy is still in New York, we're gonna find him. And go buy yourself a video game. Good advice. <laughs> What? I was burning with fever. I was shaking all over. The migraine was back and drilling holes into my brain. And to top it off, I couldn't keep any food down. My body seemed to be fighting against something, but I still didn't know what. Okay guys, I think I'm going to leave this video here. See you next time. Destruction and creation are the same thing after all.